What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, and this is a video that I definitely want to make because today is Christopher Reeve's birthday, what would have been his 69th birthday, and it's important to talk about him because this man is iconic, he's the definitive perfect Superman, and I figured that I would just quickly talk about my feelings on his Superman, my background history with his Superman, why he means so much to me because this man is amazing. So, I grew up with those Superman movies. I have such a fond memory of loving them. I mean, when the movies would always start, we would hear that iconic, epic John Williams score. And I think that his Superman theme is the best superhero movie theme of all time. You know, it's hard because I love the Danny Elfman Spider-Man theme, the Danny Elfman Batman theme, but when you hear the Superman theme, you just want to jump up and pretend you can fly. You, you really feel like a hero when you listen to it. You want to go out and do some good. It's just very inspiring. And speaking of inspiring and influential, Christopher Reeve himself, perfect portrayal. You know, Clark Kent, he is a humble normal guy, very likable. Christopher Reeve did an excellent job being the everyman. But then when he turned into Superman, he was somebody more. He was this epic, heroic man. When you look at Superman, he is everything you should aspire to be. When I was a kid, a little kid, I pretended to be Clark Kent and Superman because he was just so influential and inspiring. Just a great performance. When it comes to the movies, you know, Superman 1 is great, but I actually prefer Superman 2, the theatrical, directed by Richard Lester. It is my favorite Superman movie of all time. I love Man of Steel, but Superman 2 is just so lighthearted, so heartfelt, and it's a, it's a love story about Lois discovering who Superman really is, their relationship, and you know, that ending where, you know, Superman kisses Lois and she forgets everything they've been through. It's his powerful stuff, and you know, Superman gives up his powers for Lois Lane, and I love that diner scene where, you know, Christopher Reeve, Clark Kent, gets his ass kicked. He, you know, he realizes he's human, but he has a responsibility of a superhero, so he has to get his powers back, and I love the end of Superman 2, where Clark Kent goes back into that diner and shows that trucker who's boss. It's really epic. Superman, all, all these Superman movies have iconic moments. Man 1, the flying scene with Lois Lane, Superman 2, everything with General Zod is pretty fun. Superman 2 is definitely one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. Superman 3, uh, it is campy. It is campy. It is definitely not as good as the first two Superman movies, but honestly, I enjoy it. I enjoy going back to Smallville. I enjoy him becoming evil Superman. I, I enjoy all that stuff. The fight between uh, Clark Kent and Evil Superman is is cool. I, I, I and Richard Pryor is pretty funny. I enjoy that movie. And for Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, it is not a good movie, right? It's not. It, it's really bad. But it's a guilty pleasure. I grew up with it. I actually love that movie unapologetically. I just love watching it. It's a guilty pleasure with like Nuclear Man, and it's the visual effects are awful. But Christopher Reeve is continuous. Uh, it's continuously great and it's just really funny with nuclear man and everything um yeah it's not a good movie but it's a guilty pleasure one i like to revisit just for fun and superman returns was sort of a spiritual sequel to superman 2 the richard donner cut which i think is okay and uh you know i don't love superman returns i think it's okay um and it sort of pays homage and pays tribute to Christopher Reeve. That's kind of why I like it. But overall, Christopher Reeve is perfect as Superman. I love this suit. There's just something about these movies that are just classic and, you know, they, they hold a very special place in my heart. Christopher Reeve is perfect. He's iconic. He's definitive. No one will ever top his performance. He just is Superman. When you hear or think of Superman, you think of Christopher Reeve. He was that iconic. And, you know, it was really unfortunate to learn about his passing, you know. He, he, he died in a very tragic, unfortunate way. But we have to remember his legacy. And his legacy was influential. It was inspiring. It was amazing. And that's what's important. 
This man had an amazing legacy. He was just so great, perfect for Superman, and I cannot thank Christopher Reeve enough, Richard Donner, Richard Lester, John Williams for just creating this, this amazing, relatable, likable, inspiring superhero for the big screen. I mean, you know, without Christopher Reeve, we wouldn't have gotten Blade, we wouldn't have gotten Batman, we wouldn't have gotten uh, Spider-Man, we wouldn't have gotten the MCU. You know, Richard Donner's first Superman movie and the Superman movies that followed, really how comic book movies, superhero movies, have a place in cinema. They were that influential and Christopher Reeve was a part of that and that's, that's awesome. So that's to, to wrap up this video. I just wanted to talk about how much Christopher Reeve's Superman movies mean to me, what he means to me, because they changed my life. And that's, that's just amazing. Happy 69th birthday, Christopher Reeve. So please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what Christopher Reeve and his Superman movies mean to you. Are they that influential and inspiring to you like they are for me? What's your favorite Superman movie? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.